Our next inductee is a true pioneer of the UMass rowing program, an All-American, a two-time Atlantic 10 champion, and also helped lead the Minute Women to an NCAA appearance. She also helped lead the program to a number of medals in several prestigious events, including the head of the Charles, was a member of the U.S. national team, and competed in a world championship. Please welcome Wendy Wilbur. I know this has to be taller for me, but thank you for helping me feel comfortable enough to not be wearing my shoes. <laughs> Thank you to Trigger Burke and to the Hall of Fame Committee for this remarkable honor. I, um, I think it's incredible to be considered among the ranks of these amazingly talented athletes and coaches, so thank you very much. Um, congratulations to you, to my fellow inductees. And a big thank you to all of my friends and family and teammates who've traveled from near and far to be here tonight. Um, it means the world to me that you're here. When I started rowing at UMass, it was a club program. I paid dues to be a member of the club, along with around 100 other men and women um, that also paid dues to be a part of the club. Um, it was a, a really hard-working group of people, and uh, those people are, are who I learned to be competitive by, and uh, those people taught me how to push myself during workouts. Um, I don't know that it was ever formally recognized, but in 1993, the women of UMass crew went on to win a very competitive regional championship that year, and witnessing that um, made me want to win races too. So I'm really thankful for my years in the club. Then two years later, uh, while I was rowing in New London, Connecticut for the U.S. Rowing Development Camp system, I got a call from my coach at the time. He said, I've been offered the head coaching position at the University of Massachusetts. Come over to my house and convince me to go there. So I hopped in my car and I drove over to his house and I gave him a wholehearted and emotional plea um, in hopes that he would consider it. And at the end of my wholehearted and emotional plea, he said very casually, yeah, I'd already decided to take the job. I just wanted to hear what you'd say. <laughs> and while I'll remind Jim that I was here first, <laughs> I think it should be noted that I wouldn't have seen the same success in my rowing career had he not made the decision to come. So I'm very thankful to Jim and to all of my coaches for their efforts to help me become the best rower I could be. Our 1997 crew was a really special group of women. We were fiercely competitive, internally driven, and focused on the goal, which at the time was to be invited to the first ever NCAA Women's Rowing Championship, advance to the final, and compete for the national title. We would fight to the near death on rowing machines um, in practice, and then we would hop in a boat and trust each other to make it go as fast as possible. I understand now after 12 years of coaching how unique it is to find that group of people that will put in the effort and have that commitment and that trust for each other um, and the chemistry. It was a really, really special time in my life. I'm really thankful for my time at UMass because of that experience and my teammates mean the world to me. Thank you for that. And finally, to my friends and family, for seeing through me through all the pains of training and for picking me up and dusting me off when I was too tired to do it myself, for loving me anyway when we lost, and for loving me more, for celebrating with me when we won. <laughs> so uh, again, I, I thank you for this incredible honor, and go UMass. <laughs>